We'll start with answer Khan. Yeah, Alex, just uh, how much is your, your comfort level just increasing with each game that you play with this new team? Yeah, every game uh, you get more and more comfortable. Um, obviously, the start of the season, whether you were here the year before or not, I think you know, there's always like a little adjustment period, you know, obviously being new to the team, a little bit more so than some of the other guys, but just trying to work out the kinks and everything like that that comes with the new year, shaking off the rust from the summertime and all that. So, um, yeah, every game, you know, I go in there and I feel more and more comfortable and just the game gets a little easier. You know, you get into a bit of a rhythm and you just stop thinking about things and just start doing it. And, uh, like, for me, the less I think, the better I play. So, I know, uh, you won't necessarily, I don't know if you'll play tomorrow or not, but still, uh, you know, going up against a guy like Ovechkin, I don't think you've ever faced him in a regular season game before, but just can you appreciate just the challenges for a goalie, you know, when you're facing a guy like that? Yeah, it's a great challenge. I mean, everybody in the world knows where he's going to be and how he scores goals, and yet he still finds a way to score goals. So it's like, that's the challenge is how do you stop him? Um, Because it's not like he's doing anything different than he had, you know, than he's been, whatever he's been doing. So it's, it's exciting. They have a lot of skill, um, not just him, obviously Wilson, Backstrom, Kuznetsov, Oshie, like that's a, one of the better power plays in the league. So um, for us tomorrow, just try to stay out of the box, try to limit their chances as, uh, as best we can and uh, kind of play like we did last night and, and we'll give ourselves a good chance. Thanks. Thanks for Max Boltman. Yeah, Alex, you're talking about kind of the adjustments that come with the new year. I was wondering, like, when you go from one team to another, what are the biggest differences you notice with the guys in front of you in terms of, like, I don't know if they defend differently or if they go to different spots on a rebound or anything like that? Uh, probably for me, it's honestly just getting – I think the guys got to kind of get used to how much I play the puck because yeah. um, that that is a big adjustment. Like, not everybody – like, there's not a lot of guys in the league that that – handle it as much as I do you know I get pretty crazy sometimes so you know things look a little weird and for good reason right like it's not normal to see a goalie in the corner you know two three times a night so that's probably the biggest thing is just getting used to how I kind of go about moving pucks around and things like that and guys always kind of being ready for for anything um and then from for me it's just Kind of learning the system and learning guy, guys' habits and tendencies and how we like to play certain scenarios and everything like that. So, uh, you know, preseason camp was great. Got to really hone in on some system stuff. But now, finally, we've gotten 14 games under us, some real, some live action stuff, and because you, you can't replicate that in a in a practice. So that's been great, and uh, I think we're getting better and better as we go on. Where does that kind of come from? The playing the puck as much as you do is that? I just always love doing it. I watched Marty Broder and Marty Turco do it a lot uh, when I was young and um, you know they were they were some of the best to ever do it so I got I enjoyed it it was something I liked doing and I always wanted to score a goal so uh, um, you know it, it's just something that it makes makes my life easier sometimes makes the guys lives easier and then there's times where I, I make it really difficult for us unfortunately so uh, um, you know you just got to limit those chances and uh, be smart with it. How do like coaches talk to you about it? Like, do they is something they encourage or? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, like I said, I get a little uh, excessive sometimes. So that sometimes there's you know like those calm down moments, and you know we got to kind of pull it back a little bit. But uh, like it goes back to just thinking too much. Like the more I start thinking, the more I start forcing things. Obviously, the the worse outcomes um occur so it's just trying to make the simple play making a quick read and and um living to fight another day thanks thanks for nick hatsanika uh he asked mostly what i was going to ask this follow-up but have you ever scored a goal at a lower level you- yeah so my rookie year i scored in the in the echl with the everblades and then my second year i scored in the american league with the charlotte checkers all right so this is next, right? Yeah, I was hoping last night I had a chance, but, uh, <laughs> you know, I think about it, don't I? I think about doing it. So. Have you come close, like, in an NHL game, like, to at least taking a shot? No, I haven't had an opportunity to do it. Yeah. So that's something where it's like you, you can't force it, but uh-huh. you want to force it. So it's, you know, you have to be smart with it. This It's such a high level. Every every mistake is magnum. It makes that it's made you know that much bigger of a problem every mistake you make. So um, you, you really have to be smart and then pick your spots. 
did you play out when you were little or you're always no i i was always a goalie i started skating when i was six um i think by seven i think i put the pads on and it just stuck mm -hmm. carly johnson kind of to that we saw skinner play the puck last night and obviously larkin was able to capitalize on it how do you eliminate those mistakes and make sure that you're making the right decision when you've got them in that a lot of it is just confidence and having the confidence in yourself to to make plays like i there was a i had a turnover in the second period where i tried uh where gags was in the neutral zone i tried to make a bank like an indirect stretch pass off the far wall and um probably wasn't the play to do probably just a quick leave it for Stasi or, or an over to lindy was the play but um you know you're gonna we're gonna make mistakes i made a a pretty big one in the preseason there in Buffalo. Um, obviously, Skinner, that's one you want to have back, but that's going to happen. And I think the guys that that are really good at playing the puck, you know, they don't let one mistake kind of deter them from doing it again. I mean, Mike Smith is a guy, I think, not to not to bag on him, but he's a great puck handler, like loves to handle the puck, but he's made some mistakes, you know, and obviously they've ended up in the net, but he keeps doing it because he has a confidence in himself and more times than not, it benefits the guys in front of you. So and that's, like I said before, you want to minimize the mistakes as much as you can, because once you start creating habits and making mistakes and causing more problems, then it, then it obviously becomes a problem in itself. So, you know, confidence is very mental. And I know we were talking over the season about how you try and keep your mental state very calm during a game. When pucks are getting behind you, how do you reset and make sure that you don't fall under pressure? Like getting scored on? Yeah. It's just you got to find the next putt. I mean, it's way easier said than done, but the reality is like you got scored on. Great. There's still half the game left. There's still 59 more minutes to play whenever it is. Right. Like, um, you know, you're going to get another shot at some point. So, you know, and then it becomes a problem. Now, if you're still worried about the, what, you know, the goal that just went in now, the next shot goes in, you know, a few shots later, a third one goes in. Well, now you're on the bench. You're not in the net anymore. So it's like, you gotta, you know, you gotta hit the reset button fast. You gotta be like a goldfish, you know, you got a 10 second, 10 second memory and, and that's it, you know, move on and, and uh, just keep fighting. Kevin Allen. Yeah, Alex, you had talked before about how it was different uh, this time uh, for the start of training camp because you didn't have to go anywhere. You were home and then you started to play. Uh, has it been different off the ice because of that for you at all? Uh, terms of uh, you know what happens to you from days of game and so forth yeah it's a little different um obviously Emma and, and our dogs they weren't uh they were they were never around like full time they would always come and visit she had school and and work and stuff that she couldn't be down in Carolina the full year so it uh so I had a lot of downtime on my own didn't really have any like responsibilities or anything outside of just taking care of myself and making meals for myself so um but it's nice now to be able to go home and see zeke uh see her spend time with her have dinner with somebody else other than the guys you know and get away from the game a little bit because when you're on your own like that it's really easy to just think about the game nonstop, like because you have nobody to talk to you know sometimes you're just sitting in your in your apartment or wherever and watching tv and, you know and I, I love the game so i've always got nhl network on and things like that and it's hard to get away from it for sure um so to be able to go home now and just kind of hit the reset button and just enjoy life outside of hockey is awesome. Thanks, Alex. Yeah. Last question, Helene St. James. I was going to say, Alex, I think Seek interrupted your original Zoom with us. He, I'm sure it's different for him to have you around. I wanted to ask you, what's the learning process for a team to learn how to win close games, you know, like they make it three, two early in the first period last night to not, you know, let, start letting doubt creep in. It's almost, you have to have that same, same mindset is like for myself, like if I get scored on, you just have to worry about the next shift. I think um, for the, for the guys, you know, it's, we got scored on, you know, you could feel kind of some momentum building on their side. They got a late one in the second period. They scored the first shift in the third obviously not ideal, but you know, things happen and that's the game. And, um, you know, you have to be able to move on and you have to be able to recover and, uh, adapt. And for a team that's learning how to win, we're, you know, I think we're doing a good job of staying in games. And even if we're behind, you know, we're, uh, we've had a few games we've come from behind now in the third period, um, tied it up late or whatever it be. And then 
found a way to win in Buffalo. We came up a little short against Florida, but we're right there and we're doing a great job. Last night was a huge game to build off of uh, for, for confidence. You know, we have a lead. We play with the lead the entire game and then we kind of let them back in it there um, at the end, but we found a way to win. And that's what good teams do. That's not always going to be pretty, but uh, they find a ways to win. And at the end of the day, two points is what matters. Thank you. All right. Thanks, everyone. We'll be back shortly with Coach Blashill.